Wow, this thing actually tastes nice. This guy is really good. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Jordan. It's a beautiful morning in Seychelles Islands and we are going to do something really interesting today. It's Creole Festival month in Seychelles. I'm visiting my friend's place today. We are going to make some really nice Creole food for you guys to enjoy and let's go. Alright guys, let's go and check out our friend. Hey man. Hey, hey, how are you? I'm good man, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm just in from the office today. Alright, alright. So uh, I'm gonna get ready to get some cooking going on. <laughs> yeah, that's what we are for today. <laughs> so what are we cooking today? Uh, the plan is to get some uh, fish chutney with uh, mango and then uh, some guy sausage. That would be a great dish for you to have this afternoon. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Alright, let's get it going. Alright, go change and come back. I'll be talking to the people then. <laughs> Okay guys, and he's gonna get ready for the cooking thing and I'm really excited and this is the first time I actually like, see someone like cooking really nice Creole food in front of me in the video and then I'm gonna show all of it to you guys. What are you doing? Basically, the, the, this is like a form of preparation for this chutney. Uh -huh. uh, we did some, some mangoes, like uh, not ripe mangoes but rather the ones just before it gets to the right stage. We grated it with the fish. The fish basically had boiled the fish first and then I squeezed it into chunks. And then I used the mortar to get it even finer like that. Now what I'm doing is that I left it overnight in the freezer so that it can absorb some of the juice and flavor from the mango and the onion. I need not add anything because the fish is already salty, so and now I'm removing the excess, excess water from it. Why well, I'm removing the excess water because now I need the fish to be cooked in oil. So our initial prep for the uh, salted fish chutney that we're making is already done. Here it is and the wok is almost ready and we're gonna toss everything there and put some chili on it and then the process should be over. The thing about salted fish chutney, it's it's part of Creole cuisine itself. Like back in the days, we didn't have much refrigeration, you know, like so um, salting the fish was in a, is a way where people actually can store food for long term. And most of the places you go, you would find salted fish chutney or papaya chutney. It's like part of Creole cuisine. And chutney is, is a side that comes with a Creole meal where you can like add it, uh, most of the takeaways or the restaurant you go, you would find papaya chutneys or chutneys made with golden apple or with uh, pumpkins and this is one of the unique chutney that we make today and I'm sure it's gonna come out really good. Wow, the smell that comes out of this food. And uh, the funny thing is with the wok, you don't want it to be too hot mm -hmm. or else you will burn it. We don't need to cook, cook in a, a medium heat that everything gets cooked at the same time because it's a lot of fish right there. Huh? Uh, for okay. time? This is time. Okay. Okay, the leaves, not much of stock. You just want because I'm eating chutney. Okay, here comes the tasting part. Wow, this thing actually tastes nice. This guy is really good. I you know like the flavor of the fish the lemons, the parsley, the mango. all the other things, the mango, onions, everything just like goes inside and creates a, an ultimate really nice flavor in your mouth when you eat it. I wish like we can taste this kind of Creole foods every day in our life, you know, like all the takeaways <laughs> selling it. <laughs> so chutney is ready. So what are we doing next? Ogai sauces. So what is actually... Uh, is Ogai sauces is a blend of uh, meat and grease. We make sausages of it and then there's uh, auto salt and there's uh, globes and there's uh, pepper in it. So it's crushed globes actually. Some people cheat also so they don't usually do all of it. They just put that salt and pepper. See my friend here, he's a chef who doesn't have a restaurant. <laughs> so much knowledge piled up in his brains. 
<laughs> and that's in our restaurant. So we've got garlic and ginger here. We've got uh, tomato paste. Uh, I'm not such a big fan of it, but I'm gonna use a little bit of it. There's fresh tomatoes, there's onions, and there's some pepper. Some people like to put the pepper in it, some doesn't. I like it because it gives it more flavor to them. So we're gonna cook the onions a little bit. If it becomes too golden, then the flavor changes. Mm. So basically now I'm gonna add the tomatoes. So our ugai sausage is actually getting ready. Um, the thing about this, this, this food that we're is ugai is actually a French word. Um, Saint Seychelles is a French colony. That's where the, the combination of cuisines that comes from. But this is not a French style of ugai. Seychelles people adopted this technique for, for their own. But generally ugai means like combining like a lot of spice with tomatoes and ginger. That's what basically they're doing here. But in a, in a Seychelles style ugai, that's what, that's what we're gonna taste today and I'm sure the way things are going on it's gonna be really tasty. Oh, this is how they make the saucy. So how comes the sauce? This oil is not from what I put in the pan, but basically from the sausage because it was really fatty. So that's a sign that our dish is ready. The dish is almost done. And we are here to the favorite part of this whole video, that is me tasting the food that we actually cooked. And I've got our uh, ugai sausage and the fish chat. So this is it. Mmm. It's really delicious. The way my friend said, the sausage actually has spices in it, which I can actually taste it when I'm having it. The sauce, um, even the spring onions and every spice that he put in, blends in and gives you a really nice flavor. And the next one is our fish chutney. Wow. <laughs> These are really nice dishes that we made and so much flavors in it. So the next time if you're visiting Seychelles Islands, have some time, stop at a local takeaway, pass by. I'm sure they will have a lot of Creole dishes there and taste it. You will exactly feel the same way that I'm feeling right now. So much flavor inside your mouth to enjoy out of the Creole cuisine. And that's all for today. See you guys again with another interesting video. Please do a subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. That's gonna motivate me a lot. And this is Jordan signing off. See you guys next time.